Every time I drive over the Kosciuszko Bridge, I'm reminded of a story I worked on that discovered that there was a danger it could fall if it was ever involved in a terrorist attack. This story came to us because of a lawsuit. The suit was originally brought by a company called Hardwire LLC, which developed the technology for these anti-terrorism countermeasures for bridges. They were suing the company that was like doing a knockoff version of it. One of the people who worked at Hardwire LLC was Irvin Ebow. When he left and started his own company, Infrastructure Armor, his former employer, Hardwire LLC, is alleging that he took a lot of the technology that they developed and started to compete against them in the market with his own less expensive version of their technology. Hardwire LLC also alleged that in his less expensive version of that technology, there are literally some cracks in the armor, the one of which can be physically seen on the Kosciuszko Bridge. The casing around these cables did start to show cracks and did start to spread. So what these things are, are basically a protective layer around the cables that suspend the bridge so that if a terrorist or anyone got it in their heads that they wanted to take down that suspension bridge and their idea was to drive into the cables and, and take out as many as you could, these cables are basically encased in cement and some other material that's designed to basically counteract that effort. And what the suit said, basically, it wasn't done correctly and as a result, the casing surrounding the material was stripping away, was actually falling away and as a countermeasure as a fix his company put ratchet straps nylon ratchet straps on the outside of these containers and ratcheted them down to close those gaps so they sent me out to the bridge a bridge that i frequently go over it wasn't the hardest place to get access to where i could go and count these straps and not just count them but get photos and video and get really up close and personal and see exactly what these things were. Luckily for us, there was a walkway up on the west side of the bridge. So I parked on the Brooklyn side and, and was able to walk up onto the bridge. Some of the areas were a little hard to see, but with a lot of maneuvering, I was able to, to count them all. And they remain there to this day. It's been over a year and a half. Not only have none of these straps been removed, nothing was really like changed. I think they've actually put a few more on there. <laughs> so unfortunately, there's no conclusion to the story yet. And I'm going to be continuing to distract myself and stare at these straps as I drive <laughs> over the bridge. If you like stories like this, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't want to miss any of the stories we're covering for the New York Post, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.